All right, a little update on Justin's car. Um, well, we got a lot done. Justin got a lot done. So the engine's back together. The engine bay's back together. There we go. So it all came back from uh, from powder, powder coat. Uh, Jake Tinsley did a, he did a uh, heat dissipation coating that we used like on all my cooling system stuff. Um, he did it on the compressor cover, the charge pipe. Did it on the elbow, down on the uh, intake manifold. Um, we got a little. This is just standard uh, satin black. Don't mind the marks there. That's from the water. <laughs> We had a little bit of a water spill yesterday uh, when we fired this thing up. So then he did a um, the high heat coating uh, on the headers and the turbo kit. So the turbo kit's pretty cool. Matt at perform Matt and Brandon at Performance Fabs they did that one. Um, so the so 106 um, they also did the heat coating on the radiator, and then we've got a transmission cooler here uh, power steering cooler here and ac condenser there um and then the these are hard piped uh radiator hoses so the justin really wanted to do hard piped radiator hoses i like it i think it came out good that lower one i guess was a little bit of a pain i don't know we didn't make it matt and brandon did so the um holly accessory drive is in and all hooked up. Um, waste gates, dump tubes are on. Um, so tomorrow is our day zero of our drag and drive event. Uh, and then Thursday is uh, day one. I don't think Justin's gonna make it to the testing, which is fine, it doesn't really matter. Could be all right. Um, but a lot has been done on this thing. So as far as electrical, um, there's a engine bulkhead right here. And then down there, hidden back there and back there, is uh, coil bulkheads. The coils are tucked down on the frame rail. Um, it's, uh, it came out really good. It's uh, nice and clean, um, well hidden, you know, looks really good. So, <clears throat> the Holly Retro Bright headlights are in there and we got all that, uh, we got all that working. Uh, high beam, low beam. Marker lights. So probably over the winter I'll get it painted, you know, make it all look like it used to. But so right now Justin's actually in the middle of working on fitting the 12-3 dash. There's the back of the 12-3 dash. Um into the uh into the, the via or the glass tech um fiberglass dash that goes in the car. And we got a cobra jet. Got a 34 Ford, like a factory five race cars. This thing's pretty awesome. We're gonna make some videos on this. I don't, I don't know if I can make videos on this or not. I gotta talk to the owner. Um, anyway, this is the interior. So last time you saw this, it was a disaster. Justin's been kicking ass on this. Um, back seat is in it. The console that he found on eBay fits really good. Uh, it's going to be a, it'll be a better job of, of finishing, a finish work. I'm, I'm going to take credit for the, uh, <laughs> I'm going to take credit for the terrible paint job on the, uh, on the, <laughs> on the center console. But it was white. It was solid yeah, white. It, it was solid white. So like in our defense, in our defense, uh, it was solid white. And then Justin was just, you know, finger banging the heck out of that thing. Same thing with the dash. Uh, this is supposed to be satin. Like this part, like if we zoom some in, of it's satin, some of it's like that looks good. pretty good, you know. Then we, you know, I don't know what happened also, there. I mean, Glass Tech makes a great dash. I dropped this on the concrete. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I've just beat it off her, and it's, I, it, I even nicked the gel coat. Yeah, like, I, mean, I mean, it's, it's been it's fantastic. Tough, yeah, yeah, it's a tough situation. Yes, yeah, so this is a really nice piece that we have uh, not really done a great job at uh, prepping and painting, but uh, it did get spray bombed. Um, this morning yeah. on a sawhorse next to a trash can. So, you know, outside. We're so, trying racing, trying but racing. we're trying to go racing here, right? So, um, if you've ever been to my shop, it never looks like this. Uh, but, you know, here we are. So, um, we got earlier today, we got the, this is just a quick 
just a quick fix. This is not our normal work, but this is a, uh, we got a, uh, we've got our, he's got wipers and wiper pump working. Um, I mean, we're going to tighten that up a little bit. That's a little, that's a little, it's a little bad, you know, you know, that's a little rough. You know what I mean? That's, you know, um, so we're going to tighten that up a little bit. But anyway, he's got all of his, all of his hoses and whatnot all mounted up in there. Doing really good. Um, we still have to do a ghetto alignment on it, which it'll be ghetto. Uh, so anyway, let's go inside, take a look at the interior of this thing. So, uh, let's see if I can get these out of the way. There you go. So there's the ECU, the Dominator. There's the smart wire. There's a, um, the AC is up underneath of there. There's the vintage air. Got a few of those little connections, some excess stuff sitting out so that we can add later. Um, but anyway, there's the column. So the column is out of a, what's it out of? The column is out of a 13 Camaro. The, a 13 Camaro. the steering wheel is out of a 17 Camaro. Where's your, where's your little cover? Come on. Uh, anyway, so the 17 Camaro, so we got everything to work with the 17 Camaro. Camaro. We'll get back here in a minute. Uh, but anyway, we got everything on the on the steering wheel, the turn signal stalks, everything. It's uh, everything works. Um, the wiper switch. We got all that stuff to work. So we got the the old uh, the old Chevelle with the new Camaro um, <clears throat> set up in there. So. The steering wheel didn't have an airbag because that's the only way you can get them reasonably priced. Um, but he found a dude online. This Cobra Jet is so awesome. It's got four miles on it. It's a 2016. Uh, where's your little cover? Come on. He got this. Uh, he found a guy on Instagram who made this uh, airbag cover that says Chevelle with the proper um font sewn in there right so it's pretty cool um i uh, will say he's he's all about it but uh but I, do, I will agree it is pretty sweet so we'll just set it up in there see what does it look like there oh yeah 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 it tops it off that's pretty sweet oh and they did the ss down here the same like ss logo that's uh down there so put new carpet in it so anyway button up the last few things we got it fired up uh, last night. Um, it ran good. Uh, we got a dead flex sensor, so we got to fix that, and then um, and then uh, we'll be good to go. But we got it running on just like a. I just put together a base map for it for uh, uh, just to run on on E, so on a gas scale, and we'll just do a modifier for gasoline. So in the center console, he just mounted the master enable switch and the uh, trans master override. Um, we still got like cigarette lighter to put in there and um, like charge ports, like USB charge ports, but we'll get to that later. Cup holders, all that kind of stuff. Um, but he's he's gotta go racing, you know? So um, anyway, yeah, this thing's all going back together. I figured I'd grab some, grab a video before we put it together he's uh i don't know that's coming out don't worry about that there's a little bit of a mess but we got a battery we got a on my shuttle valve co2 tank yada yada um our dual contactors are in there so the last video i posted up on this car a lot of people said there's no way you're gonna make it it looks like he might make it um maybe i don't know we'll see so comment down below let me know what you think. You think if he's going to make it or not? I think he will. Um, but either way, even if he doesn't make it, uh, and even if he doesn't make it past day one, it doesn't matter. The car's back together. Um, it's been a a uh, long road here, and I think we're waiting like a year since it's uh, it's ran or since it's been driven. So uh, either way, excited for him to be able to cruise this thing around again. So uh, we still got a little buttoning up, and the next video I make on this will be tuning it. See ya.